If you are thinking about moving to the North Dallas or North Fort Worth area, then you have come to the right place. In this video, we are gonna take you on a tour of a beautiful home here in the master plan community called Harvest in the city of Argyle. Don't let the name Argyle scare you if you've never heard of it before. It is a small town, but it's got a lot of amenities, a lot of conveniences, and it's just a short 30 minutes north of Fort Worth and about 35 minutes away from the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. I am Jennifer Fowler, and along with my husband, partner, cameraman, Brandon, we run Fowler Realty Team here in the North Texas area. We have people just like you reaching out to us all the time, looking to make a move here. We absolutely love that. So that's you, and you're looking to make a move in nine days or nine months, give us a call. Shoot us a text, send an email. All the info is in the description below. I'm excited to take you on a tour of this beautiful four bedroom home that starts under 600,000 in this amazing master plan community. So let's go take a look right now. Like I mentioned earlier, this beautiful Toll Brothers home is located in the master plan community of Harvest, which is in a town called Argyle. Like I said earlier, don't let that fool you or scare you that you've never heard of Argyle, Texas. If you've heard of Fort Worth, Texas, you are not that far from this community. As soon as you walk into this home, you're going to be greeted by this beautiful, formal dining area. What I do love about this is that it's at the front of the house, so I can just imagine having friends over, having family over, and being able to look out your front window at all the people walking by. I always love when I'm taking a walk and I look in people's windows, not you know going up to their house or anything, but just walking by and looking at people's windows. I love seeing families eating at the table. So I like that they have this at the very front of the house and that it's very open and also that it's situated right here at this beautiful staircase. To me, this is just kind of a little bit of a work of art in the dining room. I like that they have the black and white here on the staircase so you see um, the contrast and the colors here. They did a really good job on this. Over here on this side, this is going to be your garage area, but in the model home, it is the sales center. So we won't go in there. Let's head on down the hallway. I want you to notice these beautiful floors that are going to flow throughout the home, how natural they are. This area is very light and bright. This is a four bedroom, three bathroom home, just under 3,100 square feet. So very spacious home. Like I said earlier, this model starts at about 590,000, so under $600,000. There's other houses in this neighborhood that are well over a million dollars. So I like that you can get in at different price points in this neighborhood and there's different price ranges for everyone. Well, let's go ahead and talk about this kitchen. This is a beautiful kitchen. A couple things that I notice in here that I really do love. And one of those things is that this island is long enough to have at least four bar stools. So plenty of space to have your breakfast in the morning or while you're cooking to have friends and family talking to you as well. Another thing I like is this tile. It's a very pretty tile. What I like about this tile is it just has a beautiful design. And they took the tile all the way up to the ceiling behind the vent hood. So this is gonna give it a more finished look, a more luxurious look, always a fan of that. I like how it's neutral yet it has some color in it as well. This is a gas neighborhood, so you're going to have a gas range here. You've got your nice farm cell sink. Big fan of sinks that don't have the divider here because you can actually put your entire pot or pan in there and wash that. Your microwave and oven is going to be off to the side as well. This also kind of gives it a little bit more of an upgraded look as well. So very nice, spacious kitchen. Of course, you've got your refrigerator over here and great place for your coffee bar or maybe even some wine over here as well. So always nice to have that space. Then that takes us into the breakfast area for your second dining. So this is gonna be off to the side of the kitchen. I do like how the kitchen is situated 
sideways compared to the table here rather than it being turned this way. I just like a little bit of a visual separation between the kitchen and the rest of the house. And they were able to do that here. Also notice how the kitchen ceiling has dropped a little bit. And then when you get into the living room, it's a little bit taller. And I like the accented beams that go across the living room ceiling here. These are going to be lower ceilings. This is a two-story home. But I'm a fan of both. I like them both. You know, a lot of houses we've done, they have over 20-foot ceilings, and it's big, and it's grand, and it's beautiful. But I also like the coziness of a lower ceiling. And if you're a fan of air conditioning, when you're in a home that has lower ceilings like this, you can really feel that air hit you, and that's really nice. This house does have a fireplace, so really beautiful fireplace here with a nice tile surround and a beautiful mantle. And I've also chosen to put in some nice open shelving built-ins on this side as well. This just gives the house a little bit more character. Anytime I come across a house that has these, I always say, you have to do this. And that would be these sliders. So let me unlock it first. But whenever I just open these sliders, you can just tell how all this outdoor space comes inside and now you've really doubled your entertaining space. This is really nice out here. I love this fire pit and we'll take a look at that later on in the video, but you can just see all this space opens up. Great for entertaining or just on a nice cool spring or fall morning, which we do have here in North Texas. Don't let people tell you that it's hot all the time because it's not. Um, it'd be really nice to open this up and just let the outdoors in. So anytime you're going to look at new construction, we always say take your realtor with you on the very first visit. Sometimes if you don't, a builder might not let you be represented by one at all. And we think it's important for you to have representation, for you to have someone that's helping you and guiding you through the process of new construction. Oftentimes there are incentives, there are price changes. I know right now they've got some really great incentives going on for you to use towards your design. Also, if you use their preferred lender, they have incentives for its closing costs, but those incentives come and go. So make sure you reach out to us to know what the latest ones are. This bedroom is light and bright and open. It feels almost kind of beachy in here. And I don't know if it's because it's just so bright with the windows or the paint colors or what, but it really feels good being in this room. And once again, they did put wallpaper on the back wall, which is a great idea. I like how they hung these uh, light fixtures here. You also have an accented ceiling, so you could put wallpaper up here if you wanted to. They chose to paint it, so just gives it a little bit of an extra touch, but I'm a big fan of maybe putting some wallpaper up there. You can always change it. A good size room, you've got a king size bed, two nightstands, a dresser, even a bench on the end of the bed. So once again, great space in here. As you come into the bathroom, you also notice it's nice and bright in here as well. You do have two sinks. Now something this bathroom, um, this bathroom does not have that a lot of other homes have that we've shown you is there is not a bathtub in here. For some people, they don't want a bathtub at all in their bathroom. They'd rather have a large shower. For some people, it's a deal breaker and they have to have one. But this is a really good sized shower. It is a walk-in shower and they've got a beautiful tile on the wall and the floor that's different from the tile on the opposite side. We've got two shower heads here. I like that the, the um, faucets are here as you enter. That's really nice. With the bench, so good sized shower here. And then of course, behind Brandon, you have your walk-in closet. So plenty of space there for all your clothes. So overall, this space is nice, it's bright, and it's light. So right off of the kitchen in the breakfast area, you've got your laundry room, the another bedroom downstairs, a bathroom, and a very beautiful study. What I like about this space is this bedroom is quite large. You've got a good queen size bed in here, two nightstands, and a dresser. So this really is a pretty large bedroom, which I like that at least one of the downstairs bedrooms is almost master sized in case you do need someone to stay here for a while. Another thing that I like about this area is in this bathroom, they've chosen to have a walk-in shower here instead of a tub, because you just never know who's going to need to have a walk-in shower rather than a bathtub. I like this tile too on the floor, it's very pretty. And then the office over here is kind of tucked off in the 
back of the house, normally it's in the front of the house, but here they've chosen to put it in the back so it's really nice and quiet and private. So it is bright. You still do have some windows here as well. Um, so I actually kind of like that the study is tucked away here in the back of the house. So here in this upstairs space, you do have a second living area. I like this nice built-in buffet over here. You've got two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a media room. What they chose to do in this media room is they turned this one into a fitness room or a workout room. So it could go either way. I do like what they did here. This is really nice. Once again, you do have a nice built-in buffet area over here with a drink refrigerator. So good idea here, but I really like this space. It's tucked away upstairs, so definitely private and quiet as well. There are doors that go here, but because it's a model home, the doors have been taken off. So I don't know, tell me what you think. Do you like it as a workout room, media room? What would you do with this space? So like I said earlier, this house is located in a master plan community called Harvest. Your HOA is going to cover a lot of things here, including events, three pools. You've got volleyball, basketball. What else, hun? There's Pickleball, a ball, two fitness centers, two fitness centers, a catch and release pond. They also just opened up an activity pond so you can do kayaking there. Goodness, there's a, something called the back porch where it's just a beautiful covered pavilion for event space. Oh, there really is a lot. There's a park here, a dog park. Also, it's located really close to a lot of amenities. You've got, um, have we already talked about that? The HEB is close by, Costco. There's a grocery store opening up just down the street. McDonald's and Chick-fil-A are opening up. So this really is a great area of North Texas. It is growing, it's expanding. It's also a little bit more affordable than other places of North Texas like Frisco or Prosper or Salina but yet it is getting all of the amenities that they have and it is coming here. So you are gonna see a little bit more open land on this side of North Texas compared to the east side, but don't let that fool you because there is a lot to offer this area. And this bedroom is cute, by the way, I just had to point that out. This is one of the two bedrooms that are upstairs here. Argyle ISD is where this home would be. Now, the community of Harvest itself does have two different ISDs. So you wanna make sure which one your student or your child would go to. But this is Argo ISD, which is a very highly rated school district here in the North Texas area. This house is situated on a 50 foot lot, which still gives you a good size covered back patio. Here they did choose to extend the concrete a little bit further out, but you can just see that there's plenty of space in here for a trampoline, a swing set. Over here, they put this really cool fire pit, which just gives you more entertaining space, more places to go in the backyard. So they did a really good job on this. I'm not sure if this is pool size because here in Texas, we do have utility easements um, normally along the back, but I don't know, maybe you could. I bet you could put a small pool back here, which would be amazing in the hot Texas summers because it does get pretty hot here. But we have an entire video all about Harvest, everything that it has to offer, all of the amenities, where it's located. So make sure you go back, take a look at that one, and also, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free to you, but it surely helps us out a lot. And we would absolutely appreciate it if you would do that. And we'll see you on the next one.